Hey everyone, this is Daniel and in today's video, we're going to go in and build a low code chatbot using Copilot. And this is part of Audrey Gordon's overall advent series of Copilot videos. Okay. So last week I went ahead and showed you how to build a sweet modern app where we use Copilot and Power Apps to help me build an inventory app where I can keep track of all the props that I use for my musical holiday lights hobby. In this video, we're going to actually build a chatbot leveraging Copilot, which will help me identify which are the best vendors I can use to buy all the props that I need for this musical light hobbies. So let's take a look. So I'm in the Copilot studio and here I'm going to go and create my own Copilot for chatbots. So I'll click on the plus new and right off the bat, there's two ways to do it. First, I'll show you the easy way because right over here, we can boost our conversations with generative answers. What that basically means is that go ahead and start adding the URLs of public facing websites, uh, which you're going to use. So in my case, I have two of them. And as a full disclosure, I am not affiliated with any of these. These are the two vendors that I have preference to buy all my Christmas light stuff from. So the first one that I'm going to use is actually a company called Boscoyo Studio. Uh, so I'll just go and add their website right now. Uh, right now you can only put one, but I'll show you how you can go put the other one. In addition, let's change this Copilot name altogether. I'm going to actually replace the Copilot one to Musical Holiday Light Shopping. Also, I'm going to change this logo. You see, that's the logo that is there. I'm going to go and actually change it to the one that I created. By the way, I created this one using the image creator, the designer image creator. Uh, so it's actually hilarious because I used a bot to create an image for my bot. Anyway, I thought you might find that funny. Anyway, let's go back again. So I'm good over here. I'm going to go and click on create. All right. So once the creator is there, the bot is actually going and creating this co-pilot for me. So I just got to wait for a while uh, just to make sure that all of this is done correctly. So we are in the studio piece. This is great. I can already see that the first comment is added. But what I need to do is go into the generative AI and in the generative AI, scroll down a little bit and I need to go ahead and add the second website. Because remember, in the first, I was only able to add one. However, it is grayed off right now because it's saying this feature isn't available until your bot has finished setting up. So just keep in mind that even though you are inside the studio piece specifically for your co-pilot, you really have to wait till the whole thing is done. And once it's done, it'll actually tell you. So right here, while I was still talking to you, it says your bot is provisioned. So we've already got the first URL. Let me go and get, grab the second URL. Go ahead and put this over here. Click on add. It's already added. So I'm going to go and click on save. And believe it or not, with this simple process of using the co-pilot, which is using the generative AI, we are actually done with building the bot over here. And as a test, let's go and actually have a discussion. Uh, a good way to actually see all the testing and how it's going on is actually to turn on this toggle switch, which is track between topics. And the first thing I'm going to ask the bot is this question. Looking for where I can find a 12 volt pixel lights. And I'll just go and click on enter. Now, remember, I have not done any topics or anything. This is directly coming through the generative AI, which means it's actually going to go and refer to any of these websites. And let's see what it comes up with. Perfect. It actually gave me a good answer. It says you can find your 12 volt pixel light at Wally's lights. Gives me some information over here as well as a variety. Also a link. So when I just go and click on it, another section comes up and I can basically go and pick and choose which one I want. This is great. I like the fact that everything is over here. And it's great that we toggled on this track between topics because it's showing us directly the conversational boosting topic that is being used. And the key note that's being used is the create generative answers. And if I go and click on this edit on the right, it shows me that these are the two public websites, which means I can directly come over here. I can modify it, just do all my stuff. So this is first option is to directly create your chat bot using Copilot. And all you got to do is put in directly the URL. Else. Now, the second one that I'm going to do is again leveraging Copilot, but this is when we're going to have a little bit of conversation to actually build a full chatbot process. So let's take a look at that one. So, back from my homepage, I'm going to click on Copilots, this time create a new Copilot. Um, I'll go and give it the exact same name, leave everything as is, click on create, and now it's actually going to get us into the Copilot section where we'll build the bot studio. So, we are in. Now I'll go actually to the topic section and in the topics, I'm going to use the create from description. So when I click on it for the name of my topic, I'm going to say vendors to pick from and in creating a topic too, I'm going to put this explanation. Let user ask the bot which vendors to use to purchase musical holiday lights. I'm glad with these. I'm fine with these two. I'm going to click on create. And now the co-pilot is actually going and building this bot for us. And so far I'm pretty happy. 
went and gave me some triggers and already went and added some questions. What I can do is come to this triggers place over here and actually add a few more phrases. So I'm going to add stuff like purchase props or something like list of musical holiday lights. So I'm pretty happy with all of this. The trigger looks good. The first question directly came up. I am going to make sure I go and save it. So when I scroll down, all I see is a trigger and a question. Well, I actually want a few more additional things that needs to be done. So the new question that I want to ask is something like this. Add a new question about which prop the user wants to purchase. So let me click on update and let's see what happens. As I scroll down, the next question comes up, which is pretty neat. Remember, I have not done any of these nodes manually. The copilot is doing them for me. Um, so I just want to make, first make sure I have everything says for which vendors I can use to purchase uh, musical holiday lights. It is going to a variable called vendors. I'm fine with that. Uh, which prop would you like to purchase? I'm fine with that as well. Next, I need to now leverage the generative AI. Similar to what we did before over here, I have to use the generative AI as well. So we're going to go ahead and add a new node. And on the bottom, I'm going to click on the advanced and over here are generative answers. So in the generative answers, right on the top, it says data source, click on that data source. And same thing like we did before, we need to go ahead and add the URLs to those public websites. So I had two of them. Uh, first one over here was for Boscoyo Studio. And then the second one over here was for Wally's Lights. So as I click on it and I go ahead and do a comp control C control V, I now have my two external websites directly added over here. So as far as this node goes, specifically for the create generative answers, it needs an input. And this input is actually going to come from the question above. That question's answer is being saved into this prop variable. So basically for here, this section, I just need to click on it and make sure that it's getting prop. Once I do that, I should now have the generative answers do the correct search for me. Also, whatever the generative answer finds, I want to save that in a variable and then display that as a message. And for that, you click on this node menu, which is ellipsis, click on the property, and right over here on the bottom, if you click on advanced, there is an option called save bot response as. So I'll go and click on this and I'll go and say create a new variable. And in the new variable, it'll go and put automatically that as bar one. I can just click on it and change that as a var bot response. So that works for me. This is great. And I can come back to the bottom and I can go and say send a, send a message. And that message is going to be the bot response, which is right over here. And now we're actually done with this quick and easy bot that we made with the Copilot Studio. So I'll go and make sure I click on save. So let's do a test. I'm going to go ahead and reset this all together, make sure I do the track between topics. Um, I'll actually start all the way from the beginning. I'm going to go and say hi. For the response to hi, a completely different topic is used. It's actually called the greetings topic, which is out of the box created. Next, I'm going to go and put in this message. I'm saying looking for a vendor to purchase props. And this time it's not really sure. So it's actually doing a multiple topics match, which is great because now I can verify. So I can actually toggle to the right and say, okay, vendors to prick fun. That's the one that I want. And now it's actually going into the new topic that we created. So it's saying, which vendors can I use to purchase musical holiday lights from? I'll just go and say Bosco, your studio or Wally's lights that goes in and now it says, which prop would you like to purchase for that? I'm going to respond back with a 24 inches snowflake props. Go and click enter successfully went to the successfully used the create generative answers, did the search and came back with perfect answers over here. And as you can see, I've got links and everything. So the, even the answer is nice and clean. If I click on it, a new tab opens up, directly takes me to the vendor's website, right down to where the prop is. Remember, I didn't do any of this. This was done by the create generative answers. So here's just a quick overview of how we were able to go ahead and build a chatbot leveraging the generative AI that can be done two ways, directly building a bot from scratch where you just give the URLs or you go ahead and use the topic where you actually give using natural language what this topic should be all about. And then you can go and tweak it however you see fit. That is pretty awesome.